Risky Behavior. Welcome to Risky Behavior. I'm your host, Smelly. We back with another one. And I always say, be careful who you call your friends. Be careful who you share your business with. See the signs and get away from them. So I'm back with another Kendra G singles live clip. Young lady comes on the show to find a man while on vacation with her guy friend. And she gets a little messy and she says some things that um, she shouldn't say. But rather than me tell you about it, let's go ahead and play this clip. Hi. Hi. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Go bring the camera up a little bit so your head's not cut off. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Can you see me? I can see you. I just don't want your head cut off. Hello? You're frozen now. Don't have your head cut off, though. My head cut off? Okay, hold on, wait. Which means I got to see your forehead. I guess, I guess I should see your hair stop. No, but we want the better light. Is that light. too much light? We want the better light before. All right. I'm sorry, Kendra. <laughs> What's your name, baby? I'm Freckles. What's your name? Want me to call you Freckles? I want you to call me Freckles. Freckles, where are you calling us from? Oh, right now I'm in Aruba. Aruba. Okay, you on vacation? Yeah. You on vacation? Yeah. Okay. Um, where do you live in? Do you live in America? I live in Atlanta. Hot Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Where you on vacation with Freckles? I'm on vacation with my friend. It's his birthday. Is he gay? Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, what you calling me for? You went on vacation with a man. I'm not Freckles. How old are you? Say what? How old are you? I'm 21 forever, but I'll be 35 in August. 35 in August. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. Why do you want to be 21 forever? Mm, well, my great grandma always said, you're however old you feel. So I don't want to ever feel 90 or 100. So I'll feel 21 forever. Okay. She's going to be 21 forever, but she's 35. Do you have any kids, Michael? In August, 35 in so, August. I'm 34. You, you want to say 34? 21, but I'm 34. Okay. I don't know. That might be the first um, red flag. Refusal to grow up. And as y'all can see so far, she's on vacation calling into a dating show, which might be bad timing, but... Uh, Whatever, that's not really a big deal. But you can see that she says she's with a guy friend and she's calling him gay. Hey kids. I have identical twins. How old are your twins? 14. 14. Have you been married? Yes. When did you get divorced? About six months ago. You just got divorced. Why? Don't forget, just got divorced. It's about to be a year in six more months, Kendra. Don't do that. Well, it's about to be a year, Kendra. Okay. Well, the only reason I said just got divorced because six months and your children are fourteen. So I thought maybe you got divorced years ago. So why did you no. guys get divorced? Hmm. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. Okay. Second red flag. <laughs> so, um, she's on vacation with a guy friend that she's calling a gay guy friend. And she just got divorced six months ago. That ain't long at all. How could anybody adjust out of a of a marriage and just into dating within six months we see people having trouble when they're not married they just had a boyfriend girlfriend six months ago and they just don't transition into another person like that so that's another red flag you're coming on a dating site while on vacation with your guy friend that you're calling gay and you just got divorced six months ago 
um, you saying you're 34, but you're going to stay 21 forever. And I understand how she said it, but I'm looking at how she's presenting herself and it's coming off very childish and immature. What do you do for a living? I do too much, but um, I'm a behavior technician. <laughs> <laughs> Child, Freckles girl. So we got Freckles, behavioral technician. She lives in Atlanta, currently calling us from Aruba. Uh, mom to a 14 year old identical twins. Um, are your twins by your ex husband? I'm assuming yes. No. Well, they're not. How long, were you, how long was you married for? I was about, uh, married for about five and a half years. Okay. So your twins are by another man? Yes. Okay. And she got divorced to her husband six months ago. 34, but forever 21. Forever what kind of man, what kind of man are you looking for, love? Mm, someone who's honest, open, um, in tune with nature. Someone who um, knows how to communicate well. Okay. What are your deal breakers? The hell is she talking mm, about? Too many baby mamas. Too many baby mamas. Okay. <laughs> Don't um, know how to communicate. Okay. And um, don't know how to listen. When I listen, should he look a certain way? Definitely have to be in shape. You got to be able to see your cock when you look down. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just saying. You know, <coughs> how do you look, Kendra? You know, a lot of people look down and they see <coughs> McDonald's, KFC, Wendy's, and everything that they had. The whole year. you got to be able to see your cock when you look down. <laughs> So that is the in shape test. Yeah. So if you can I guess that's not too much to ask for. <laughs> <laughs> she funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? Um I, I say the things about she's you know, she's throwing up some red flags just from the start of the interview. I I think the divorce thing, that's a pretty big deal. Six months, especially you got two kids. I, I can't imagine you divorcing and then six months later you bringing a new guy around. It's, you know, I just don't think that's healthy for children. But uh, I can see why guys do like her because she's funny as shit. She really, really is. And I can see she does has this um, personality where if you did go out with her, you would probably have a lot of fun. You know, she seems like. Just a fun person in general. Even if you didn't want to be in a relationship with her, I could see somebody wanting to be her friend. I could see why, because of her personality. But she is a bit messy, so. And you can't see your manhood. You're not an option. Not an option. Period. Let's do the test. Well, listen, you know, some phones will say, well, I want a girl that can see her. Hers when she looks down. Yeah, yes, I see all of me when I look down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh god, girl, do we gotta make a certain amount of money? Um, he needs to make enough money to be able to take care of himself if he got kids, and to be able to take care of me if I need him to. Okay, so there's no dollar amount to that. Okay, no dollar amount. Okay, let's do oh, the Kendra Kim. Don't do that to me. Do not. Do not even do that. Okay. Woo, you look good. Okay. Okay. You no, girl, you fine. Why are you not talking to the men in the room? Uh huh. I said you look fine, like fine as in good. Why are you Thank not you. entertaining the men in the room? The men in the room? Huh? No, not him. Other men. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, Kendra. I just haven't just uh, I just got here last night. So today's my first night here. Here's the deal. Shout out here's the deal. I love that y'all call me and I and you can and you can definitely find love on my show. People have found love. But do not negate your reality. Girl, you're I'm not. not. So okay, I'm you not. just got here tonight. I want you, you might have to go out without your gay friend because not every man may know your friend is gay and they may think it's your man and therefore they may not. 
Hold on, wait a minute. She don't even know you. She don't know you right here. Hold up. Kendra, first of all. Kendra, first of all. Oh, shit. I'm going to entertain men. This my tonight. And I can't entertain it with my friend because I feel in the closet. So, you know, I'm just going. Well, no. I mean, that's his business. We don't got to get into the business. But I do want to give this. Sometimes you might be. <laughs> so she out with this dude. And you see she keep doing things like, you know, he's. What's she doing with her hands? She, you know, he, he gay, Kendra. <laughs> And he obviously must have tried to snatch the phone. Like, hey, like, why you keep saying that shit? <laughs> and so, she must know. He must have. <laughs> it don't seem like he's happy with her um, doing this or something. Right? Cause I'm I'm thinking that he just tried to snatch that phone and I hear him saying something like he is angry um with her. And she, hold on, let me with your gay your gay friend might block you from your man. Cause what if a guy sees you right. and think that your gay friend is your man when really <laughs> he's your gay friend? Not saying you can't have your gay friend, but just understand. That he might yeah, at sometimes, not all times. Looks like I got a lot of gay friends who I couldn't imagine my life without. But um, some of them you will never know are gay. And, and some of them don't say they are, people. So you're right. In that manner. Yeah, yeah that's true. Gay. But I'm gay. Come on, man. Don't do That's how I feel. <laughs> See, I was about to say too much because I only I watched the clip one time already, and that's um and so this is just my second time watching it, and some of the stuff I didn't hear because the audio um it sounded better in these headphones, and so when I was looking at it on my cell phone, some of the stuff I couldn't hear, right? But I'm hearing him in the background and stuff. But ain't she messy? This is supposed to be her friend. Or is it really her friend? That's why you got to question people when people are like, oh, I got a guy. Like, And this is exactly why people don't want men and women to be friends sometimes because you just do not trust the situation. Um, <clears throat> the last thing she just said to Kendra was, and some people just don't want to say that they're gay. Right? And then when you, um, let's see, to hear what he said, because he said something about I ain't take note, so I'm gay now. He said that. Hold on. Because what I'm thinking is he shared some something with her in confidence and he's I think he's a male friend of hers and he's probably interested in her. And I think that he shared something with her that he shouldn't have shared with her. And now she's using it against him and she's calling him gay. And it's not a fact of he don't want to come out the closet. He doesn't probably feel like he's in the closet. He probably told her something and experience that for him it doesn't to him it doesn't make him gay he just maybe had an experience and what she's done is probably put him in the friend zone and it's just calling him a gay guy telling him he needs to come out the closet and that's not right he's probably um he's he's he probably doesn't see himself as gay he's probably not He's probably what people might call bisexual, if anything. But from what he's saying, from what I can gather, it seems like she's trying to force him into gay them. And he don't want to be there. And she's just being messy online. And you come on, if that's your friend, you out of and, and see what happened when you hear these harsh stories about these friends when they go on vacation with each other and something happens to somebody. This is where it comes from. Bullshit like this. Because you online, on the internet, playing with a grown man about his sexuality. When, if he is gay, whatever, who cares? That's his business. And people use that expression all the time. Well, he's in the closet. That's some bull crap. Look, ain't nobody business who you're sleeping with but the person that you're sleeping with. Okay? So, if that man don't want you on the internet um, disrespecting him and that's your friend, why can't you respect that and not be messy? 
This is about you on a dating show. You see what I'm saying? And if <clears throat> and if you're with somebody in that type of situation, just walk away from the table or call into the show um, later on. I don't even know why she called into the show, why she's with him at the table. It's obvious tension between them. But let me go back to see the... Um, <clears throat> Gay friend, but just understand that he might yeah, he, at some times, at all times. Looks like I got a lot of gay friends who I couldn't imagine my life without. But um, some of them you will never know are gay. And, and some of them don't even say they are. Say they are I can say so you're right. And then at all times, at all times, looks like I got a lot of gay see friends who I couldn't watch. imagine my life without. But um, some of them you will never know are gay. See how she's laughing and making a joke of it? And, and some people don't want to say they are. Can. And so she's taking it as a joke. And this guy friend of hers, obviously, he's not saying that he's gay and he's in the closet. She probably knows something that he may have done. And he's saying, look, I'm not gay. I had this experience, but I'm not gay. And she like, nigga, you gay. Right. And that's to me, that's the best thing I can come up in my head, not knowing the whole full situation. It seems like she's just she's being insensitive. In that manner. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to play it again. Without. But. Um, some of them you will never know are gay. And, and some of them you don't say they are, I can't say so you're right. I don't watch it. In that manner. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Okay. But I'm gay. Come on, man, don't do it. I had to close my eyes. You know how sometimes you think you close your eyes and you're like, okay, I can hear everything now because I'm going to close my eyes and open up the other senses. It sounds like he said, but I ain't take no dick. So I'm gay? Man, stop playing with me. I can tell from that nigga, voice he ain't nothing to be played with. That don't sound like the voice of a man you want to be joking about his sexuality with. And that's what I'm saying. He said he ain't take no dick. And that's what I'm telling you. He told her a story of something that happened to him. And she is now using it against him. They probably already had the vacation plan. He trying to take her out. He probably think, you know, hey, we friends. We're going we go on vacations together. And she done friends on his ass. And now she's joking about his sexuality on the Internet, which everybody can see. At least I'm one person that saw it. But I, I don't agree with that. I'm so happy that she did not put his um, face in the camera because that would have been too, too, too far. Um, but what's crazy about it is people that know her most likely know him. And when they see her on the internet saying that she's with a male friend of hers and that he's gay and he's trapped in the closet, when they get back to where they live, people are going to see like, oh, you know, you know, Freckles, she was on the Kendra G single live show. Yeah, for real. Yeah. She said she was out there with some dude and they started arguing at the table while she was on live on the show because she said he's really gay and trapped in the closet. Hold on. I remember talking to her before that she went on vacation with, let's just say with, with Sam. <sighs> Oh, shit, she must be talking about Sam. You see what I'm saying? And so that's why <laughs> what she's doing is very, very messy because we, the audience, don't know who he is. But everybody back home. So if he is really in the closet and that's something that you wanted to respect, you're actually disrespecting it by um, exposing it on the Internet because people back home are going to know who you're talking about. So. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate you all. Get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Thumbs up. Share with a friend. Share with a friend. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Risky out. Risky behavior.